CRV stands for Coastal Research Volunteer Program. It's a program for citizen volunteers to become involved with uh, scientific projects that address environmental issues in the New Hampshire seacoast region. When they get involved with these projects, the results of what they help to produce uh, will really be used to address problems. I'm the coordinator and I work with the folks that run the Marine Docents Program and we all together sort of uh, do the logistics of organizing the, the volunteers and getting them involved in projects. My name is Rebecca and I'm an undergrad student in the Medical Microbiology Program at UNH. Part of what we do is we go test water samples around town. Yeah, no, I think this might be my calling more than the medical microbiology. I've always been interested in science. Used to be a science teacher back when. I wanted to do something, give a contribution back to the community, and this is a great way to do it. I was involved with the marine docents, and this opportunity was made known to me and went to one of the meetings, and here I am, standing in the river. My name is Kara McKetton and I am the Oyster Conservationist Coordinator for the Nature Conservancy. I got involved in the CRV program as part of my position as a coordinator. I work with oyster conservationists, so volunteers that not only raise oysters off of their docks to provide for restoration, but they also are involved in other coastal research projects. These past couple of weeks, I've been delivering cages full of oysters. These cages might contain anywhere from a couple hundred to a thousand oysters, which I will deliver to volunteers, oyster conservationists that live around the estuary. Our volunteers this season are really excited about participating in the Oyster Conservationist Program and growing oysters right off of their docks. I have people that have been sending me pictures of them, uh, measuring the oysters, monitoring them, pictures of little critters and creatures that they find living amongst the oysters within the cages. So it's a really exciting opportunity to learn hands-on about these oysters and really start to build a connection with such a keystone species in our estuary. This project is really important for Great Bay Estuary because it involves the community. It really gives the members of the community an opportunity to build a connection with the estuary and even contribute to improving the health of Great Bay, of the water quality, providing habitat and getting that hands-on experience rather than just reading it from a newspaper article. This is our third summer here in um, this neck of the woods and I actually heard about this oyster scrap measuring from an uh, article in the newspaper, the Portsmouth Herald. So anytime I move somewhere new I always get the paper to see what's going on and I just immediately jumped on that and that is how I got involved with the program initially. But that also was a springboard for so many other things that's opened me up to about living on the seacoast, learning about uh, marine environment and the wealth of, and breadth of knowledge that the, you know, just being here at the research facility has been so great. Um, so you get to really uh, learn firsthand and the people that coordinate it are awesome. Questions are always answered and, you know, I felt very, uh, just very happy about being part of this. The people that I've met through this are fantastic. It um, also got me involved in the UNH uh, docent program, which I recently graduated. It swam up, as they say, in April. And again, it's just a springboard. It's just been a springboard to so many other things and meeting so many people and just learning about the importance of um, the volunteers in the coastal area and how much they can help and just the issues that we're facing here in having a good, healthy ecosystem. My name is Kristen Ward. I work here at UNH for Dr. Ray Grizzle uh, as a research technician. And we've been working with the CRV volunteers for about two years now, this is our second year. The volunteers are helping us monitor, count, measure um, some of the oysters that we raise here at UNH and that will eventually be going into restored reefs out on the bay. So they're an integral part in um, the restoration process. We have natural occurring oyster reefs here in Great Bay in the system. Um, they've been declining over the years. 
Um, we feel that it's important to restore these reefs, to get the oyster population going again. They are great filter feeders. They keep the waters healthy so that other, you know, eelgrass and other plants can come in. The oyster reefs serve as a um, really nice natural habitat for other organisms also, like crabs and lobsters and, and other organisms that you'll find in the bottom of the bay. We have some volunteers that are with the docents program. We also have Steve Jones, who is a, also a professor here at the lab, who has kind of started this program and is taking volunteers in. The people that have now been trained are coming to me and saying, let's go out and train other towns. Let's get other people from other towns involved. We're not only trained in how to do the monitoring and sample collection and, and using meters to make measurements, but we're also trained in, in understanding, you know, what's going on here, what the issue is, and we can help educate people and do outreach as well. People can become involved by just contacting us and we'll fit their interests in with, with the kinds of activities we're getting involved with. We want to do something different and we want to do something that is meaningful for, um, for all of you out here and that also fills a niche that no one else is, is filling.